If you didn't know, I am petrified of rally raid events because they are awful. They are probably some of the worst events in the game. I'd rather play a hovercraft event and that is saying something. But today we are looking for a new rally raid vehicle to hopefully spark my enjoyment again in the rally raid discipline. But um, we are using the Ford Focus RS with big wheels so... <laughs> We'll see how it gets along, we'll see if it is actually any good, and we'll see if I enjoy Rally Raid events again. Or ever, because I never really did enjoy them anyway. But um, enough of me talking, let's just get straight into this vehicle review. As you can see, it costs us 143,500 crew bucks and 20,500 crew credits. So let's just get into it and buy it. What colour? Let's get a blue, why not? A blue vehicle, blue rally raid vehicle, why not? One of my favourite colours. Will it maybe make me enjoy this game mode more? No, <laughs> these races are still going to be bad, I know it. But let's get into the customization if there is any on this vehicle, which I am um, not sure. Maybe there is? There isn't. Okay, I was maybe expecting a little bit. But it's a rally raid vehicle, I wasn't expecting too much anyway. Uh, but you can change the colour, the livery and any vanity items you do have as well. Would any vanity items look good on this vehicle? No. No. Um, we'll get... We'll get blue tint? No. We'll get black tinted windows. No horns, no. None of this. That's fine. We'll just stick with the black tinted windows. I mean, a Ford Focus RS is, it's a nice vehicle. You can't go wrong with a Ford Focus RS. It is a, you know, a very iconic vehicle in terms of cars and just motors in general. It is a very unique vehicle. But um, on big wheels like that, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. It does look menacing, but not the Ford Focus RS that I am used to. But... The performance of this vehicle, obviously you can go up to a 140, it is at a 41 when you first buy it and it has a top speed of around 118 miles per hour and the horsepower, it doesn't tell us. So let's just put on the 140 parts. As you can see I've got very limited amount of parts, it shows how much I don't play this but I've got quite a few gold parts for some reason, I'm not sure why I have gold parts in this discipline but I do which is weird I'm shocked about that I am very um, yeah very shocked but with the 140 parts now on we have a top speed of 150 miles per hour we have 566 horsepower on this vehicle as well 0 to 60 is 3.07 seconds okay a home quarter mile in 10.97 seconds again Okay, um, break distance 60 to 0 is 24.12 yards. So, I mean, the main downfall, obviously, from using a normal Ford Focus RS is the speed. It is drastically worse, but we'll see if it is any good. So, I'll see you at a rally raid event in a second. Red Rock, here we come. Can't wait. We'll play it on hard because I know I will fail. So we're going to test the vehicle on hard. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so bad at these events. I just always end up just doing stupid stuff like crashing into the rocks and trees and stuff. But maybe that's the vehicle because I've been using the, the Proto Buggy which is obviously one of the start vehicles. So it's probably the vehicle and I probably should have changed vehicle a long time ago. But here we go. That's why we've got the Ford Focus RS and I mean so far We've gone in a straight line, so I can't say much. These vehicles are quite grippy as well, I find. They, they do turn, but their traction is very high. I think just so you don't go around all over the place. And see, my vision is awful as well. If I had better vision, it would help. Because I can't see the rocks coming in front of me, <laughs> ever. And that is my ghost in front of me, so I'm not sure if that is the time I should be beaten. I don't think it is, I think that time's always a little bit faster, but I'm just spinning out, you just spin out, I say the traction's high, but you do spin out a lot with all of these vehicles, like doing a simple jump you spin out, 
And these events just aren't made well. This is why I, I hate them. <laughs> this is why I hate them. Does this vehicle help? Like I say, probably give it a couple tries. I'll see. I might have to actually give this vehicle another two two times using this just so I get the actual feel of the vehicle. I mean, so far, the top speed is 150 miles per hour. You're not going to go any faster than that, obviously. We have caught up by two and a half seconds somehow, though, which is quite surprising. It does handle like any other rally raid vehicle I've used. We are catching up to my ghost, which is, I mean, a, a good sign. But we still can't turn on demand and we crash into trees like that. But we are still ahead of my ghost. How? This is a miracle. <laughs> this is actually a miracle. Okay, he's off now. I just don't feel right using rally road vehicles. I think, yeah, one, I just never pay attention to what's miles ahead of me. I only pay attention to like a couple of meters. So I can never see big trees and rocks coming from a mile away and all these jumps. I mean, if I probably do these events more, I'll get used to it, obviously. But the vehicle is the main thing I'm looking for here. And to be fair, this vehicle has done better than what I'm used to. So we'll see if we actually beat the ghost. Yeah, we did. Wow, we actually beat it by, what, 19 seconds, which is quite surprising. I felt like... I was doing awful, but we managed to climb back, which is always good. But I feel like I'm going to give this vehicle two more runs for its money, and I'll come back to you with a final verdict once I've actually tested it out two more times. So I will see you in a second, I guess. Right, I have tested this vehicle out again, and I feel like you don't actually, once you know the event, it's so much easier to get a higher score and get a better time than I think the vehicle I mean it's still a usable vehicle I haven't used that many rally raid vehicles in my time so I don't know if it's good or if it's bad but I mean it helped me beat that event on ace which I mean isn't an achievement <laughs> um, but it's still a usable vehicle it had no customization but it was one of the cheapest rally raid vehicles that you could buy so in terms of that and the performance I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 like I say I could be completely wrong until I use more rally road vehicles I'm not sure exactly where I'd put this but I think a 7 out of 10 for now is very usable probably not the best vehicle to use but it is usable and obviously if you guys have used this vehicle let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section and while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next video.